Thanks to Fidelity for sponsoring a portion of today's episode. This makeover is very personal to me because this bathroom has become my little sanctuary where I take those fleeting moments in the day to just focus on this wellness routine that I've kind of come to as a way to calm and center myself. Being a working mom, I really now know the importance of doing self-care so that you can be the best version of yourself for your busy day for yourself, for your loved ones. I'm ready to turn this bathroom that we've been living with in a cluttered and uninspired, undecorated state to something peacefully chic and beautiful and do what I believe in, which is that interior design can nurture those parts of yourself that you love the most, those deepest parts of yourself. So I'm ready. Joey has his man cave, Moon has his playroom, and now mama needs her bathroom. Let's do it! I'm Joey. I'm Kate. I'm Lynn. And we're Mr. Kate. And this is the story of our family taking a big leap, moving to an island, and creating our dream home in paradise. We're gonna get into the self-care of setting up your interior spaces, but first we're gonna talk quickly about the self-care of your finances. Thanks to our sponsor for this portion of the video, Fidelity. For the last decade, we've been showing you how to DIY your life and your spaces, and we know that budget is so important to so many of you. You can save and spend wisely to build your dream home. That's where companies like Fidelity come in. Fidelity can help you feel more confident handling your money and can teach you that your money has the potential to grow no matter where you start your financial journey. Whether it's buying your first home or saving money for your makeover, Fidelity offers simple, actionable strategies for your various financial needs, and you can use their digital learning tools with real-life examples like their budgeting game, budgeting tool, savings calculator, and goal tracking tool. Fidelity can relate to your challenges. They have the experience to help you navigate through challenges and reach your goals. If you're feeling like you need better resources for your financial needs, check out Fidelity, who can help you improve your money habits with engaging digital tools and digestible financial resources. Fidelity has a learning center that is designed to help you stay up to date and take actionable steps. For example, how-to videos, articles on saving, budgeting, and investing. Learn more about Fidelity with the link in my description. Thank you so much, Fidelity, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Things are happening in this bathroom. I am giving you guys a quick update because the doors have been removed from the vanity. Do you remember that wood color it was before? Now it has started its new priming life. Also, this cavity is gonna be filled in to house some very exciting things in there. <laughs> By exciting, I mean potentially a mini fridge. And we're gonna do a DIY to the doors. We're gonna paint it out. We also changed out the faucet. Look at how pretty this is. This is gold. The old one was like chrome, shorter. I really like how this is kind of a solve if you have just like a little sink and a little spread here. You can still get a taller faucet it has kind of like an elegant look to it i'm gonna leave the countertops i know these countertops trust me not my favorite but i don't want to do contact paper i don't want to paint them because i do still just want the natural stone vibes i like this lighter tone in here so i'm gonna kind of play off of that for the inspiration color for the space cabinet the other thing i really want to do is figure out how to diy this mirror into something cooler. This bathroom is just such a hodgepodge of like weird molding pieces and stuff. So we're just trying to like make it all work. You're like a scientist doing an excavation. Maybe we'll find dinosaur bones. I see some dinosaur bones. You do? Songs. Wait, I want, I want to tell you something, Mom. What? So, you know how Mama is like the best mom in the world, uh -huh. and she helps with everything, uh -huh. and we love her so much. Uh -huh. Oh, we're gonna make her bathroom like so pretty and fun for her. Do you want to help me do that? Mm -hmm. She works so hard on her business, 
as a mom. I just love her so much and I just am so appreciative of everything she does for our family. I just am really excited for her to have her own like sanctuary. playing off of what we did in the primary bedroom, which if you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. Sort of more neutral vibes, still our rainbow house and keeping it, you know, island and floral and things like that, but a little bit more earthy inspired, a little bit more kind of creamy. I'm gonna work in a little bit of like turquoise, a little bit of maybe like a peachy color, um, but yeah keeping it textured, keeping it layered, wanting to also work in some elements that you see elsewhere in the house. Like in the other bathroom, we have like the molding on the vanity. We also have the joint compound on the wall. We also have an asymmetrical mirror. So thinking about borrowing from those things as well so that the design all flows together still. All right, so this is the style of the cabinets that we have in, in that bathroom. It's actually the style we have everywhere in this house. And we've already shown you multiple ways on how to upgrade, upcycle these into something cooler. It's sort of a different version of the theme that we did in the guest I also bathroom. put your hand right here. Put my hand right here? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How's that look? Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, you wanna tell me action? We're going to get rid of the door handle Dad, here. Yeah. Keep it, keep it up. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, should I take it from the top or just keep going? Just keep going. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we got this half round and we're going to actually just fill in the inside let's, of the shaker. Let's fill in this whole thing. That's what I'm going to do, yeah. Yeah, Exactly. So we're gonna putty in these yeah. little grooves. Putty, putty in. This, this thing right here, uh, th th cover this whole corner. Okay, well here, let me show you because we've already started one of them. So yeah. we filled in these grooves, right? That was a big deal because I think that those grooves looked really like factory done. For these half rounds that we've cut down, and those are all just gonna slide into this. This would be such a gorgeous way to update kitchen cabinetry too. We'll glue these in, we'll paint them. We have that open cavity in the vanity right now. So I'm gonna actually make matching doors. I'll put a piece of quarter inch plywood in the back that I can then sure. install Moon's conductor sticks on. All right, we're back with another Mr. Kate wallpaper install. We're doing this dried kaleidoscope pattern on this section of the bathroom. We primed the walls. It's just a good base for your wall covering. You don't need to do it though. Got my laser level. Mark my first line. This wallpaper pattern you chose, the majority of you voted on this in one of our previous videos and Moon did too. So this one's the winner, the Dried Flower Kaleidoscope. I love it. It also comes in the pink and purple, which we used in the guest room, Grandma Gigi's room as we call it. So yeah, Dried Flower Kaleidoscope it is. Kate. What? You gotta go look at the bathroom, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Yep. Yeah, we'll go back to playing now. <gasps> oh! What do you think, Moon? Doesn't it not look so oh good? Oh my gosh, it makes such a difference. It looks like a new room. Choice. The question is, is, should we wallpaper in the toilet? No. We are out at one of our favorite little tide pools to come visit and oh my gosh there's so much inspo I'm finding for the bathroom. I love to get inspired by obviously the nature around us so let me show you what I'm seeing. Look at this texture with the water. I feel like this is good inspo for behind the mirror adding a little bit of texture. That peachy color. 
know what this is. Some kind of really cool algae coral wormy situation. All right, so we got this full length mirror in here that's glued to the wall in this sort of built-in spot in the molding. So we wanna keep a full length mirror here, but we just wanna make it a little cooler. There's this, um, just this cheap molding glued to the front of it that I'm just gonna pull off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take a piece of plywood. I'm gonna actually glue the plywood to the mirror, screw it in up here. And then we're gonna make a shape in the plywood to kind of bring in some of the curvy themes that Kate's doing in here and elsewhere in the house. Instead of spending like thousands of dollars on a new full length mirror, we're, we're DIYing one basically. Full length mirrors like this size can be super pricey. So this is a really cool DIY for like $25 worth of plywood. And I'm just gonna draw out like a curvy shape. We'll cut it out. And then comes the decision of whether or not to leave the wood grain or to paint. Okay, it is time for us to cut out our squiggly, elegant funhouse mirror. I have the router, which is an awesome tool. You can rent these. You can also use a jigsaw. If you wanna invest in a new tool, this one's only 99 bucks. Highly recommend. Why is it better than a jigsaw for this project? Because it gives you a really nice clean edge. That's really cool. Like, so transform this ugly full length mirror. This is the only full length mirror we have in the house. This is so cool. Okay, so the big question is, should we leave it the natural wood color or should we paint it like a peachy color? Okay, so this is the mirror that I got for here. This mirror could go this These way. These are boogie stoppers. Okay, boogie stoppers are a bathroom must. Or it could go this way, okay? Uh-huh. This is gonna be such a beautiful moment with like the cabinets that we're doing, you know, with the molding and everything. Mm -hmm. And then I have a really, I think, chic, fun thing that it's gonna look hopefully good on the light. I just wonder if it's a missed opportunity to not do at least like some kind of like, I don't know, joint compound, you know, bring the, the, the backsplash up a little bit or like even like some sort of asymmetrical kind of like wave like from the, that corner down to this corner. Just so you guys know, this is Joey's face. <laughs> so it's just blank, not really mm -hmm, blank, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, more just like, mm -hmm. please no. <laughs> I just didn't account in our schedule for this week for smearing on the walls, but if well, you want to smear, we can smear. Maybe just a little smear. Okay, so this is my good friend at uh, Joint Compound. As you know, I am driving Joey crazy because he really just wants to finish this bathroom. I've said, let's do something fun for the backsplash. Basically, we have that backsplash that comes up, that little lip that's attached to the, the granite countertop. And because I got that higher faucet, I love the higher, taller faucet, but I hate that the backsplash just kind of like cuts it. So I want to extend that backsplash up just a little bit, give it some texture, give it some interest. And I've got some little trowels. I think I'm gonna probably try this triangular one because what I'm thinking is maybe sort of like a pedal thing, I don't know. So testing out the technique first though so that I don't go in there, do it to the walls, and it looks like crap, and then we have to sand off joint compound. So that's not fun and that will really drive Joey crazy. But you know what, that's my job. Okay, so this is like a very, you know, super, super fast test. I think like the layering technique, if like I started the, at the top and then kind of build up like almost like little 
petals, like scalloped petals. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. See how this backsplash of the granite goes up to right here? And it like kind of like cuts this faucet. Like it's just like not doing the justice to this new pretty taller faucet that we installed. I think it's gonna look really cool and add some texture and like more design interest over to this side of the bathroom. Okay, so I'm really into these textured spray paints. I really love the idea of doing it on the towel rod and the towel uh, little holder side pieces and also on the medicine cabinet, kind of like unifying those things. So, we have our painted cabinet fronts plus the new ones that we made. And we've got these painted dowel rods that are gonna go inside of those. All right, we are about to go do something I have been wanting to do for so long, and that is take our drone to one of the gorgeous beaches around here and get a photo, because I have this idea of doing like an overhead shot. Like, you know those overhead shots you see of like the gorgeous, water um and a beach but i kind of want to be like in it but like this big like i don't want a picture of myself on the wall i just want to be like this big um like frolicking in the water because to me that's like just it's such a wonderful reminder of like where we live and also the beach and the ocean is like my happy place like i just feel so <sighs> calm um so yeah anyways i want to get a shot and we're gonna like drone it and then hopefully there'll be something that we can blow up like photo wise so Let's go to get ready. Joey's getting the equipment and I'm gonna do something with it. So yes, this looks really pretty, but you see how that just plunged underwater? Well, that's because Moon was operating the drone for a little bit. Joey thought maybe he'd like to try it, but I think the footage actually saved on the memory card, so yay. So I'm hoping we can at least get a beautiful picture from all of our hard work. All right, we are going through the footage from the drone crash. <laughs> that's not my favorite shot. I can't believe that it actually like stayed on the card. It captured it still. <laughs> Oh my god, the drone crash. It's, it's not an underwater such a drone. booby shot. It's kind of a cool shot though. It is kind of a cool shot, but I'm not gonna put a picture of my cleavage on my self-care bathroom while I'm thinking more like walking out into the ocean. We're gonna run this through AEOUR app to make sure that it's like popping, the colors. It was worth sacrificing the drone. We're gonna get it fixed. Yeah. Okay, so we have the overhead drone shot selected. Um, this is the one that I want to get printed. And now I'm going to open it in AEOU and edit. This is our app, if you're not familiar. I'm so obsessed with all of the filters because guys, these are the presets that we have created over however many years <laughs> we have been editing photos and they are all in this app along with a ton of other effects and things that you can do. So anyways, if you guys have already played with this app, please comment below, let me know what your favorite filter is because I already have been like DMing with a lot of you guys. Ooh, cranberry. I just love what it does to the sand tone. And I think that sand tone will look really pretty with the wallpaper too. Cause it has like a little bit of a, like a taupe hue to it. But I also love how gumdrop looks. So guess what? You can layer filters in AEOU, so maybe I'll just add gumdrop over cranberry. <laughs> Perfect. 
direction. I'm going to also do a little sharpening. Let's do some sharpening here. Okay. Ah, oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, saved to camera roll. Bloop. All right, so this is the vanity light. This one was mounted like this, but you can mount them like this as well. So I'm gonna do that. I like this frosted glass. I like the, the kind of wavy, almost like smoky thing that's going on. I might add a little bit of gold leaf to this space. Oh, 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 okay. Your hand's gonna be covered. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, pretty. Okay, put it on here. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let this leaf dry and then there is a sealer that oftentimes comes with the leaf kit. You just paint it over the top and that'll seal it in. I want it to look aged. Good morning everyone. Uh, today we finished the bathroom. Look how cool these turned out. this nice little blank space here because it's like mirror 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 all right so we're talking knobs now these are the knobs that we have they're like these I would say these are very sort of classic looking some of you are gonna be mad at me for mixing metals you know I love to mix metals we've got all of the kind of lighter color nickel going on in the shower but then i went with gold for the faucet and then obviously there's like black and gold going on with the mirror and the vanity that's like cheaper okay don't you think than like here yeah for sure than there question would be if you would should do it on yeah there or in the wood i like how that looks and then we have enough to also do these even though these are dummy ones Oh yeah, for sure we should do those. Okay, so I posted an Instagram Reels poll and probably gonna post on TikTok about whether or not to paint this or leave it wood because I'm struggling so much with the choice and I wanted to just, you know, get so many informed opinions. Because there's also like all these imperfections, like yeah, we'd have to put like an edge banding on this. I also think if I left it wood, I might like oil it a little bit, just like rich enough the the wood grain a touch, but it seems like everyone is saying, I mean, not everyone, but a lot of the, the poll is 63% last time I checked, paint it. Okay, the print from the drone shot so worth it it is now framed let me show you guys it looks so cute i'm so glad that we sacrificed the drone no i'm kidding it's getting fixed everything's okay it's gonna be okay so we got it from the print shop uh got it printed and then put it into this like weathered white frame i love how it looks i love the colors i love 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 oh my gosh who is that crazy lady going in the water with her dress on. But I just love the vibe of it. Like this is so what I want in there to just remind me of our gorgeous surroundings and that just sort of like peacefulness. And then these two pieces I'm so excited about to use too. These are two from our Mr. Kate wall art line, um, obviously all made beautifully framed and everything. Like you get these just like ready to go on your wall. And I've been saving this one. I haven't used this one yet because I've been saving it for 
my bathroom because I just love this sentiment. All bodies are beautiful because they are. And I just think that's gonna be such a wonderful reminder. And then this one I love too. I think it's a really pretty like neutral version um, of florals and that's gonna go next to the mirror. So here's our lineup. Love it, love it. Get them on the wall, woo! All right, Kate got this cool bamboo light fixture for the ceiling. Joey, thank you so much. He built that extra cabinet there to house the little mini fridge, which I now have like my sheet masks and my lotion cooling in there. I also have snacks, because you know, snacks are part of self-care. And then I get a bonus drawer put in the drawer up there and the drawer divider so I can put all my little things so organized now. No more counter clutter. And I love just having a few beautiful things on top of the countertops. I mean, it's just truly such a special space. And yeah. <gasps> and I have my special baby right here. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm just talking about how much I love the bathroom now. Every time he walks into it now, he's like, I love our bathroom. It's so good, kid. It's, so, it's so good. I was just saying how much I appreciate you making me that bonus drawer oh, and the cabinet yeah. for my... You deserve it. Mama oh, deserves the, the coziest you. bathroom ever. <laughs> I love my guys. Thank she, you so She deserves much. her... My baby guy. Her me time. And my big guy. Thank you. So, thanks for watching. Let, let go See you next time. I'm not gonna let go of you. Bye. 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 Stay creative, stay weird, stay you. Bye.